awesome pleasure to be back again for yet another wonderful experience in the presence of God. I don't know where you're joining us from, but I want you to know that tonight God is about to do something new in your life in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm so excited and I'm so happy to be back again um, right here on this platform. We are live on Facebook and we are also live on YouTube. Whichever platform that you might be using to join us tonight, I welcome you to this wonderful moment in the presence of God. I'm so happy because I know that tonight is your night and God is about to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you could ever ask for in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So wherever you're joining us from, kindly share the broadcast in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Share the broadcast. Share the broadcast. Invite your friends. Invite everybody and let them know that we are live for yet another powerful encounter in the presence of God. Keep on sharing the broadcast. Keep on sharing the broadcast. I see everyone who is coming through and I see everyone who's joining in. Tonight, we have got a very, very interesting topic, a very interesting subject that we are going to be covering. And um, I pray that by the grace of God, I pray that by the special grace of the Most High God tonight, I'll be able to touch your life from your comfort of your home. From the comfort of your home, I'll be able to touch your life and God will do the rest in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I see everybody kindly drop a comment right now as I'm about to begin and, and as I'm about to get to the word of God. Kindly drop a comment for me. Let me know where you're watching from and let me know also where you're joining in from tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Kindly let me know which country you're joining from from which city you're joining me from which place you are, are, are watching me from tonight in the name of jesus christ kindly let me know uh, uh, just uh, drop a comment right there on the comment section and let us know where you are joining in from tonight in the name of our lord jesus christ i'm so happy to see um I see somebody who's saying I'm joining from Columbus, Ohio. Uh, 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 Columbus, Ohio, Namibia, Vinduk, Jamaica is in the house. Wow, God bless you. Um, uh, Cheyenne, all the way from Jamaica. I, I, I hope I pronounced your name uh, quite well. As, um, as you are dropping your comments in the comment section, kindly share this broadcast. Share with your friends. Share the broadcast. Let the broadcast appear in each and every one of your friends' timeline in the name of Jesus Christ. I see Helen Lebone joining from Johannesburg. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. I'm so excited. Mildred, all the way from Netherlands in Amsterdam. Wow, this is amazing. This is really, 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 really amazing. I see uh, 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 somebody is joining in from Wheat Bank right here in South Africa. The Lord bless you. The Lord touch you in the name of Jesus. Live from East London at work. Priority care ambulance service. I'm always excited to watch you profit. Wow, I'm so excited. The Lord bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you as you're watching and God bless you as you're joining in in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We have a subject tonight uh, that I strongly believe is going to change your life and I strongly believe that this subject will be of help in your walk of salvation. We want to talk about something that I've titled in church but lost in church but lost this is something that i strongly believe a lot of people all over the world might be struggling with the same thing struggling with um with the same issue as well uh, I, I just want to help somebody tonight i just want to help somebody tonight who's joining in i see all of you guys as you're joining in i want you to know that i love you with the love of god and I love you with all my heart. Everything that I do, everything that I do, whenever I come online, whenever I come uh, to this platform, I always make it a point that um, each time I'm live, each time I'm on YouTube or Facebook or, 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 or whichever platform that we use, I always try by all means that I do not end the broadcast without interacting with you. And I also do not end the broadcast without pray, uh, praying for you. And I also uh, I make it a point that I do not end the broadcast as well without uh, uh, asking you to share as much as possible. Because I believe that every message that I bring to you is life-changing by the special grace of God. I see uh, Latea is watching all the way from Maryland. Uh, Maryland, uh, God bless you. 
I see Aya is watching from the United Arab Emirates, that is Dubai. Keep on sharing the broadcast. Kindly share the broadcast. Share the broadcast five times and come back and watch. Share the broadcast five times in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Kindly share the broadcast five times so that it can reach out to as many people as possible. Tonight we are talking about something very important, something very powerful. And I strongly believe that God will definitely uh, change your life tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lost but in church. That is the topic that we have tonight can you just touch the keyboard for me a little bit thank you Jesus thank you father yes Lord thank you Holy Spirit of God just touch the keyboard touch the keyboard touch the keyboard thank you Lord Jesus he is an awesome God and he is a good God wherever you are joining us from tonight I want you to know that God is going to touch you and your life will never remain the same again in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Kindly share the broadcast. Keep on sharing the broadcast so that you may have one of our top fan badges. For you to earn one of the top fan badges, you need to share the broadcast as much as possible in Jesus' mighty name. I welcome all our YouTube uh, 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 viewers and also our Facebook viewers as well. You are all welcome in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The title of our tonight's uh, message is Lost but in church. Keep on sharing the broadcast. Keep on sharing the broadcast in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. Mm. somebody's life I pray that tonight you change somebody's life somebody was watching tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ for distance is not a barrier I pray that whoever is tuning in tonight on this platform father I pray you know them by their names you know them Lord by their hearts desires and you know them Lord by whatever they're going through in their lives 
I pray that you touch them Lord and change their lives in the name of Jesus let there be a transformation in somebody's life in the name of Jesus Christ the name that is above every other name that is the mention of that name every knee has to bow and every tongue has to confess that only him alone and him alone is worthy only him and him alone is worthy to receive all the praise is worthy to receive all the glory and honor father we thank you tonight we have come to your presence Lord and we have come Lord to give you praise and we have come Lord to give you all the honor and all the glory and all the adoration oh God thank you Lord Jesus mm. thank you Lord yes Lord oh Jesus mm. thank you Holy Spirit of God we thank you Lord I pray that tonight let this night be a life-changing moment in your presence anyone who's tuning in tonight you said in a way that let anyone who is heavily laden with their burdens let them cast all your burdens unto you for you care for everybody I pray tonight oh God that you touch that woman who's watching tonight that you touch that man who's watching tonight touch that young man who's tuning in tonight who's got a heavy burden on his shoulder touch that woman who's tuning in tonight who's got a heavy burden on her shoulder touch them Lord and let that burden be lifted and let that burden be removed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I pray Lord tonight for that man who's watching tonight I pray for that woman who's watching tonight who is about to give up because of the challenges of life who is about to give up because of the situations of this life I pray that you touch them Lord in the mighty name of Jesus for you said in your word let everybody let everybody open their mouths and give you praise for when your praises goes high the glory of God comes down let your glory be manifested in the life of that man in the life of that young man in the life of that young lady in the life of that young woman who is watching this broadcast tonight in the mighty name of Jesus for you said in your word let every mountain be removed let every burden be removed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ let every way let every way let every way be opened any door that was shut by the enemy any door that was shut by the enemy let that door be opened in the mighty name of Jesus I pray tonight in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ that you will touch somebody on this broadcast distance is not a barrier heal that lady who's watching tonight let your healing power touch her tonight in the mighty name of Jesus I see somebody who's watching tonight all the way from the United States of America you are saying Lord I'm about to give up I am tired of this life I'm praying for you tonight in the mighty name of Jesus as I'm praying tonight I'm praying as an intercessor I'm interceding on your behalf I'm interceding on your behalf in the mighty name of Jesus as I'm praying right now wherever you are just join me in prayer just join me in prayer join me in prayer join me in prayer begin to pray wherever you are begin to pray wherever you are open your mouth and begin to pray open your mouth and begin to pray open your mouth and begin to pray give him praise give him praise give him praise give him praise open your mouth and begin to pray wherever you are there is nothing that is too difficult for God is there anything that is too difficult for me says the Lord if only you cast all your burdens unto me I shall answer your prayers oh my God I don't know if I'm talking to somebody who's watching right here tonight who's saying man of God I need a turn around in my life the Bible says even though I walk through the valley or the shadow of death I will fear no evil for God is by my side I declare and I decree tonight that God is by your side God is by your side in the name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus Christ even 
even though you are in the valley, you are not in the valley to stay forever. Your valley phase, it is just a passing moment. God is taking you to your next level and God is taking you to your next dimension. God is taking you to your destiny. When God spoke to Moses and he said to Moses, go and take the children of Israel out of the, out of the land of bondage. God never spoke about the, about the Red Sea, but God just spoke about the promised land. There is something about the promised land. Wherever you are watching me from tonight, I want you to know that the challenge is not part of the prophetic word. The challenge is not part of the promise, but the challenge is the process to the promised land. Oh my God. Oh my God. Wherever you are, begin to pray. Wherever you are, begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Open your mouth and 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 begin to pray. There is nothing too difficult for God. Tonight is your night. I want you to declare just like Jacob. He said, Almighty God, I will not let you go until you bless me. I will not let you go until you touch me. I will not let you go until you change my story. Oh, in the mighty name of Jesus come on somebody pray wherever you are just begin to pray wherever you are just begin to pray wherever you are wherever you are the Lord the Lord's hand is not too short for you the Lord's hand is not too short for you. The Lord's hand will surely touch your life. Even as you are watching right now, if you have just joined in, just begin to share the broadcast. Begin to share the broadcast wherever you are joining in from. Share the broadcast and just continue to drop your comments. Just continue to interact in the comment section. This is the platform that God has given to us during this moment so that we can reach out to you as much as we can. Today I pray. Today Today I pray, anybody who's tuning in tonight, if you are heavily laden, if there is any burden on your shoulder, the Lord will surely lift that burden in the name of Jesus. Today I pray, in the name of Jesus Christ, wherever you are joining in from, may the Lord God touch you. May the Lord God do a new thing. May the Lord God do a new thing. In the mighty name of Jesus, he will dwell in the secret place of the Most High God, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I shall say of the Lord he is my refuge and he is my fortress I declare and I decree tonight the Lord is your shepherd and you shall not want for he makes you to lie down in greener pastures I declare over your life tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ whatever that you are going through in your life the Lord God Almighty he is right there on your side the Lord God Almighty he is going to touch you tonight and he's gonna change your story in the name of Jesus. If you open your mouth and if you believe in your heart the Bible says when the woman with the issue of blood came into contact with Jesus Christ she had faith that by touching the hem of the garment her story was going to change. Tonight I'm looking for that faith. Jesus says if you've got faith like of a mustard seed you shall say to this mountain be removed and the mountain shall surely be removed. I'm looking looking for somebody tonight who's got faith like that woman who's got faith like that woman on that day when she got hold of the hem of the garment she had faith that today is my day do not underestimate this platform do not underestimate this platform as I'm speaking to you right now something is happening the deliverance power of God is touching you. God is setting you free from sin. God is setting you free from addictions. God is setting you free in the mighty name of Jesus. The healing power of God is touching you wherever you are. God is setting you free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you are, just open your mouth and begin to pray. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. I feel so much power of God tonight. I feel the anointing of God tonight. 
wherever you are joining in from just keep on sharing the broadcast keep on sharing the broadcast let us reach out to as many people as possible thank you holy spirit of god you are a mighty god thank you jesus you are a mighty god the great i am Hallelujah, hallelujah, you are a mighty God, <laughs> the great I am, hallelujah, hallelujah, you are a mighty God, you are the great I am. Hallelujah. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. La 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 You are my healer, you are my keep, my restorer, my life keep. You are the living God, oh, is it no one like you? No one can touch me like you do, oh, no one can bless me like you do. God, oh, is there no one like you? Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit of God. We thank you, Father, for tonight. Wherever you're joining in from, I want you to share this broadcast as much as possible. Share the broadcast as much as you can. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. As I'm talking right now, there's a woman, you're watching from Namibia. You're watching from Namibia, and your name is Lina. Your name is Lina, you're watching from Namibia. The Lord is touching your stomach. The Lord is touching your stomach all the way from Namibia. The Lord is touching your stomach tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is touching your stomach. Every stomach cramp, every stomach pain, the Lord is touching it right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Our God is a healer. Our God is an awesome God and he is a healer. He is touching you wherever you are in the mighty name of Jesus. Anybody else who's believing God for healing in their lives, I just want you to raise your faith wherever you are and believe God for the healing power of God over your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Let God touch you tonight and let God change your story in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Father. We give you praise and we give you honor in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. I'm seeing somebody else who's watching right now. You are watching from the country of Malawi. I'm seeing you're watching from the country of Malawi. You are struggling at your workplace. You are struggling at your workplace. There seems to be some challenges with your work and with your boss and everything. I'm seeing a name like Jerry, like Jeremiah. That is the name. That says the Lord is touching you wherever you are in the mighty name of Jesus. He's touching you and is doing a new thing over your life in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing a lot of young men and young women who have joined in this broadcast tonight. 
tonight who are believing God who are saying father use us in this end time use us for your glory in this end time you are believing God you are believing God for a mighty move I declare and I decree you are one of those that God is raising in this end time you are one of those that God is raising in our time God is about to use you wherever you are in the mighty name of Jesus Christ thank you father he touched me oh he touched me thank you Lord and oh the joy has touched my soul <laughs> Jesus for something wonderful happened and now I know, I know the Lord, He'll make a way for me. Yes, I know, if I live a holy life, I shun the wrong and do the right. I know the Lord. Strings. Keep on sharing the broadcast wherever you're watching from. Keep on sharing the broadcast. Share the broadcast. Share the broadcast. Yes, Lord. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Father. I know the Lord will make a way for me. Yes, I know. Jesus you are an awesome God we thank you Lord thank you Jesus give me strings thank you Lord Jesus yes Lord have your way tonight have your way tonight Touch everybody who's tuning in in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Wherever you are joining in from, keep on sharing the broadcast. I welcome you to this wonderful broadcast tonight in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. If you have a Bible, kindly take your Bible so that we may get straight to the word of God in the mighty name of Jesus. I welcome everybody who's here. I welcome everybody who's tuning in. Everybody who is online. I welcome you all tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray that tonight by the special grace of the Most High God, the Lord will be able to touch you in each and every way and to change your life and change your story in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I see a lot of people are joining in. Please remove the effect for me. I see a lot of people are joining in tonight and uh, they are ready for the word of God, extremely ready to hear the mind of God tonight. And I pray that all those who are joining in from Botswana, I see you. All those who are joining in from Kenya, I see you as well. Keep on sharing the broadcast wherever you are in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Share the broadcast in Jesus' mighty name. Share the broadcast in the mighty name of Jesus. Share the broadcast in Jesus' name. Share the broadcast five times and come back to the platform again in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. We love you, Lord. 
and we declare that there's no one else like you we just live for you lord and we want to say we love you we give you all the praise we give you all the honor nobody else compares to you nobody else can be compared to you lord in the mighty name of jesus christ thank you holy spirit of god let's get straight to the word of god and hear what god has in store for us tonight in the mighty name of jesus thank you holy spirit of god thank you father Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. We love you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Give me 1 Samuel chapter 2, and let us read together from verse number 12. We are talking about something that is very, very important, a subject that I strongly believe is going to change a lot of people's lives, lost but in church. In church but lost, or lost but in church. Somebody might be wondering, what do I mean by this? What am I talking about when I say lost but in church? Lost but in church. How can somebody be lost and still be found in church? It is very much possible and it is something that is happening, especially right now in our time. A lot of people are lost but they are still found in the church. Give me 1 Samuel chapter 2 and uh, start there from verse number 12. Let's uh, take it together. Verse number 12. Aha. Uh -huh. Now the sons of Eli. Now the sons of Eli were sons of Belial. Now the sons of Eli were also sons of Belial. They knew not the Lord. The sons of Eli were also sons of Belial, for they knew not the Lord. Touch the keyboard for me. Just give me a nice melody as I'm flowing on the keyboard. On the keyboard. On the keyboard. Thank you. Now the sons of Eli were also sons of Belial. That is what the scripture says. Continue. They knew not the Lord. They knew not the Lord. Continue. And the and the priest's custom uh -huh. with the people. And the priest's custom of the people was that uh -huh. when any man offered sacrifice, uh -huh. the priest's servant came mm -hmm. while the flesh was in seething. Okay. With a flesh hook of three teeth in All his right. hand. Uh, just uh, uh, jump uh, uh, and go down and go down and go down five verses down from where you are reading. Verse number 20. Right. And Eli uh -huh. blessed Elkanah. And Eli blessed Elkanah. And his wife. And his wife. And said. And said. The Lord give thee seed. The Lord give thee seed. Of this woman. Of this woman. For the loan which is lent to the Lord. For the loan which is lent to the Lord. And they went unto their own home. And they went unto their own home. And the Lord visited Hannah. And the Lord visited Hannah. So that she conceived. So that she conceived. And bare three sons. And she bare three sons. And two daughters. And two daughters. And the child Samuel. And the child Samuel. Grew before the Lord. Grew before the Lord. Now Eli was very old. Eli was very old. And heard all that his sons did unto Israel. And heard all that which his sons did unto Israel. And how they lay with the women. That, and how they lay with the women that assembled at the door of the tabernacle of the that congregation. assembled at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation of the congregation and he said unto them uh-huh why do ye such thing mm. for i hear of your evil dealings by all these people thank you may god bless the reading of his word in the mighty name of jesus christ give me first samuel chapter one and uh go right there to verse number six first samuel chapter one and go down to verse number six. Verse number six. Right. And her adversary also uh -huh. provoked her. And her adversary also provoked her. For to make her fret. For to make her fret. Fret. Continue. Because the Lord had shut up her womb. Because the Lord had shut up her womb. Verse seven. Uh huh. And as he did so right. year by year. Continue. When she went up to the house of the Lord. Right. So she provoked her. Continue. Therefore she wept and did not eat. Okay. Then Elkanah, then said Elkanah, her mm. husband, to her. Okay. Hannah, why weepest thou? Okay. And why eatest thou not? Mm. And why is thy heart grieved? Okay. Am I not better to thee than ten sons? Mm. So Hannah rose up after they had eaten in Shiloh. Okay. And after they had drunk, uh -huh. now Eli the priest sat upon a seat 
That's right. By a post of the temple of the Lord. Okay. And she was in bitterness of soul. Uh huh. And prayed unto the Lord and wept so. Right. And she vowed a vow. Okay. And said, O oh Lord of hosts, mm. if thou wilt indeed look on the affliction of thine handmaid mm. and remember me and not forget thine handmaid. Thank you, Jesus. But will give unto thine handmaid a man child. Okay. That when I will give him unto the Lord, then I will give him unto the Lord That's right. all the days of his life, mm. and there shall no razor come upon his head. Okay. And it came to pass, mm. as she continued okay. praying before the Lord, mm. that Eli marked her mouth. All right. Now Hannah, she... Now Hannah, uh -huh. she spake in her heart. Okay. Only her lips moved, mm -hmm. but her voice was not heard. Hannah spake in her heart. Only her lips were moving, but the voice was not heard. Okay. Therefore, Eli thought she had been drunken. Therefore, Eli thought she had been drinking some wine. And Eli said unto her, mm. How long wilt thou be drunken? And Eli said to her, How long wilt thou be drunken with this wine? Put away thy wine from thee. Put away thy wine from thee. And Hannah answered and said, And Hannah answered and said, No, my lord. Uh -huh, I'm not drunk. I am a woman of a sorrowful spirit. Thank you. Give me Luke chapter 22. Let's wrap up and get straight to the message. Give me Luke chapter 22. I'm so excited for this message. I'm telling you, <laughs> this is something that is going to blow somebody's mind. And I can assure you that wherever you are watching from tonight, just get ready for what God is about to do in the mighty name of Jesus. Continue. Uh, Luke chapter 22. Give me from verse number 1. Verse 1. Uh-huh. Now the feast of unleavened bread drew nigh. Now the feast of the unleavened bread drew nigh. Which is called the Passover. Which is called the Passover. And the chief priests and scribes sought how they might kill him. And the chief priests and scribes sought how they might kill him. For they feared the people. For they feared the people. Then entered Satan mm. into Judas. Then entered Satan into Judas. Surnamed Iscariot. Ah. Continue. Being of the number of the twelve. Mm. And he went his way and communed with the chief priests Jesus. and captains mm. how he might betray him unto them. Oh my God. And they were glad and covenanted to give him money. Thank you, Lord Jesus. May God bless the reading of his word in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I don't know where you are watching us from tonight and I don't know where you are joining in from tonight, but I want you to know that surely, surely, after tonight, your, your life will never be the same again in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want you to quickly share the broadcast just five times as you're joining us in Jesus' mighty name. Share the broadcast just five times. Keep on sharing the broadcast in Jesus' mighty name. There is something that I kept on seeing as I was going through the comment section. As the service is going on, as the service is going on, uh, uh, in the next coming few days, I've got so many, uh, I've got so much exciting news to share with you in the next coming few days and this news is so exciting in such a way that uh, it is all about the 12 million souls and it's all about soul winning it has got nothing to do with me personally but it's all about winning souls to our lord jesus christ and i see that as the service is going on and the service is going on and on and on there are people who have been requesting and requesting our details so that they may be giving as the service is going on if you check on the comment section if you are joining us on facebook and youtube if if you check on the comment section, we have pinned the PayPal, our PayPal details right there. There's a link, our PayPal link that we have linked on uh, to the comment section. If you are one of those who would like to be a blessing to the ministry while the service is going on, you might as well just do so in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There is a number that you're going to see as well right on your screen. As soon as you are done uh, 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 giving or whatever that the Lord will lead you to do in love, remember we do not give out of law, but we give out of love. If if you love the ministry and if you love the work of God and if you love the movement and if you want to be a part of the blessing uh, 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 to this movement, you might as well uh, just uh, click on the PayPal link and do whatever that uh, you'd like to do. I saw uh, I'm responding to the comments that I was seeing as uh, uh, the live broadcast was going on and on. 
get the phone number it is the whatsapp number that is my personal whatsapp number that is on the screen and let me know what you have done so that i may be able to pray with you just after the service in the mighty name of jesus christ thank you holy spirit of god keep on sharing the broadcast in jesus mighty name we have got um we have got three issues that I want to deal with tonight and I want to deal with them taking them from some certain characters that we have noted from the scriptures. We have got three characters that I want to touch on tonight. The first character is the character which is called Hophni and Phineas. We have got Hophni and Phineas which is the first character that I want to deal with tonight on this platform in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We have got the first character that I want to deal with which is Hophni and Phineas. And then the second character that I want to deal with on this live broadcast tonight, uh, we are live on YouTube and we are also live on Facebook. The second character that I want to deal with tonight is the character which is called the character of Penina. Now I want you to realize something about Penina. So many times we always talk about Hannah and we forget Penina. There is something so strong and something so powerful about Penina that I'm going to touch on within the next few seconds. Just keep on sharing the broadcast and keep on uh, dropping your comments in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Keep on taking your friends and keep on inviting each other so that we may be, uh, have a powerful moment in the presence of God tonight in Jesus mighty name. The third character that I want to deal with tonight is the character that is called Judas Iscariot. Now these are the three main characters that I want to deal with tonight and these are the characters that we find mainly operating in the house of God and operating in the church. Before I begin to deal with the character of Hophni and Phineas, I want to start by dealing with a character called Penina. Now there is no Penina without a Hannah and there can never uh, be a miracle for Hannah without a Penina. Now for, for oh my God, for Hannah to have a miracle, there must be a Penina ridiculing Hannah each and every morning. So I want you to know that whatever that you are looking at as a problem and as a situation, as a stumbling block in your life is actually a blessing in disguise. I said it the other day that the difference between a stumbling block and a stepping stone is how you perceive it. So how you look at it, that is the difference. If you look at it as a stumbling block, it will definitely uh, uh, block your way from victory. But if you look at it as a stepping stone, then you will definitely step your way to victory. I want you to know something about this uh, 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 a woman called Penina. The Bible makes mention of a man by the name of Elkanah and the Bible says Elkanah had two wives. The other wife was called Hannah and the other wife was called Penina. Now Hannah was barren according to the will of God. I want you to understand something about God and something in terms of how God operates and how God moves. The barrenness of Hannah was not a curse from the devil but the barrenness of Hannah was a blessing in disguise. I, 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 somebody didn't get me right. I, I'm going to say it again. The barrenness of Hannah was not a curse from the enemy. It was not a curse from the devil but the barrenness of of Hannah was a blessing in disguise. I'll say it again in a different way. Now Hannah was barren because God intentionally shut the womb of Hannah. Why? Because the womb of Hannah was considered the most blessed womb in that time. That is why you see that the moment that the womb of Hannah got opened, it gave birth to a prophet by the name of Samuel. Now there can never be a Samuel if the womb of Hannah is not barren. Now you realize that there is a woman by the name of Penina. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. There is a woman by the name of Penina. Penina was uh, living under the same roof and they were attending the same church together with this woman by the name of Hannah. I want you to understand something about Penina right there. Keep on sharing the broadcast and keep on inviting your friends so that we may have a wonderful moment in the presence of God. I want you to understand something about Penina. Penina was a blessing in disguise for the Bible says he prepares a table in the presence of your enemies enemies right before you. So without a penina, there is no way that God will prepare a table before the presence of Hannah. I don't know if I, I just want to talk to a Hannah tonight who is struggling with a penina in your, oh my God. Maybe you are struggling with a penina in your surroundings and you are saying, God, why is there a penina in my life? I want you to know that there is no penina. Oh my God, there is no penina that is in your life for nothing. That penina who is in your life is serving a huge purpose right there and one of the main purposes that Penina serves is to make sure that the
table is neatly prepared in front of you. I want you to know something about Penina. The Bible says they were staying together at home because they were married to the man called Elkanah and they were also attending the same church and they were also submitting under a same man of God by the name of Eli. Eli was the pastor of Hannah and Eli was the pastor of Penina. Eli was also the pastor of Elkanah the husband. Maybe you are struggling with a Penina at home, a Penina at church and a Penina. I want you to understand something right here. Not everybody you see in church is really born again and not everybody you see in church is a child of God. That is why you see that, uh, uh, oh my God, I, 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 I don't know if I'm talking to somebody right there. Now, in as much as Penina is in the house of God and Penina is found in the church, Penina have a, such a bad heart like this. That is where you begin to realize that it, uh, the other day we were talking right here on this platform with Pastor Blessed, and Pastor Blessed mentioned something that is very powerful. He said, Repentance is not repentance until there is a conviction. And conviction is not conviction, and conviction is not enough until there is a conversion of heart. So, in most cases, in our buildings, let me refer to the church as the buildings. So in our buildings, we have got a lot of peninas. We have scattered the whole building. So we go to the house of the Lord that we consider to be the building. We go to the building seeking the face of God, not knowing that the face of God, because the Bible said God is omnipresent. He is omniscient. He is omni he's a, he's a, he's a, he's an omniscient God. He is found everywhere at the same time. The mystery that we have made over the years is to think that God is found in a building. That is why we tend to struggle with Penina whenever we are encountering Penina in the building. But I want to help somebody tonight and I want to help you to realize a few things about the gospel, a few things about the house of God, a few things about the church, and a few things that I'm going to mention right here tonight. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Father. So we have Penina. Penina is a child who is serving under a ministry that is run by the men of God by the name of Eli. And Eli is the pastor. Now one thing about Eli that I do not understand is that the day that Hannah was praying, travailing so much in prayer, travailing in prayer in such a way that she began to cry and she began to weep before the Lord. She ran out of words to say. And the only thing that she could utter before the Lord was to cry. And the Bible says the man of God by the name of Eli arrived. And he asked Hannah a question. And he said, woman, why are you so drunk this morning? It is one thing to be led by a man of God. And it is another thing to be led by a carnal man of God. A carnal man of God is a man of God who walks according to the flesh, who does not understand the intensity of the prayer of Hannah. Because if Eli understood the intensity of the prayer, he was going to join hands in interceding for Hannah. But Eli was now moving in the carnality. He was now moving in the carnality of the things. He was no longer moving in the spirit, but he was now moving in the flesh. That is why you realize something that I'm going to mention as we are moving forward and as we are going forward. Oh my God. I, I, I don't know if I'm going to uh, manage to uh, speak as much as I want to speak tonight. But I, I, I'm praying to God and I'm saying, God, give me utterance and give me eloquence so that I can be able to dissect this uh, uh, message that I have for somebody right here tonight. Eli is a man of God. But one thing I do not understand about Eli is why are you failing to understand that Hannah is not drunk, but Hannah is travailing so much in prayer. That is number one. Be careful of being found in a building, a building that is led by a man of God called Eli. A man of God called Eli will help the enemy to block your breakthrough and to block your blessing. Oh my God, let me, let, let me just say that again. A man of God by the name of Eli will help the enemy in discouraging you from continuing in prayer. Because when you are so much travailing in prayer, he will come not from a spiritual point of view, but from a physical point of view. 
So in other words, when I begin to understand the scripture, there is something that the Bible says right there that I want everybody to understand. Oh my God. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. There is something that I want everybody to understand who is watching right here tonight. The Bible says, now when uh, Hannah prayed so much and she left the place, as she was going back home, she was going to encounter a Penina. As she is coming to church, Penina is there and an ally, a carnal man of God is also there. Oh my God. It is very much possible to be found in a building and not be found in Christ. I'll say it again. It is very much possible to be found in church and not be found in Christ. Because it is one thing to be in church and it is another thing to be in Christ. If you are in Christ, you are a new creation. All things are left behind. By all things, I'm talking about the attitude. I'm talking about the character building. I'm talking about the bad character. I'm talking about the gossiping. I'm talking about, oh my God. But we have a problem in our time. And the kind of problem that we have in our time is this one that I'm about to mention right here. We have a problem because many are in church and many are not in Christ. You can be going to church for more than 15 years and still not be found in Christ. It is one thing to be wearing a uniform going to a building every Sunday. And it's another thing to put on the full armor of God and be found in Christ. It is one thing to learn theology according to the uh, basic principles of any uh, college you can attend, any theological institution you can attend. And it is another thing to learn the ways of the Lord. No matter how much of theology you know, as long as you have not yet learned the ways of the Lord, you are still in the building, you are not yet in Christ. Tonight, by the special grace of God, I want to pray in such a way that I'll be able to take somebody out of the building and place you in Christ. I want to take you out of the church and place you in Christ. What do I mean by this? Now, if you are in Christ, you are a new creation. Christ simply means the anointed one. So if Christ is in you, you are now anointed. I'll take you straight to the book of Acts chapter number 2, where the Bible says, and the disciples and the apostles were together in one accord, and they were in one room, and they were in the upper room. As they were in the upper room, they were praying. As they were praying, they were waiting for the arrival of the Holy Ghost. And the Bible says, eventually the Holy Spirit came upon them, and it was of like a mighty rushing wind. And they began to speak in other tongues. Now when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and the Holy Spirit sits on you. So we have got a lot of dry people who are pretending to be spiritual. Yet they are spiritually dry. They do not have the Holy Spirit inside of them. When the Holy Spirit comes upon your life, you are no longer found in the church, but you are now found in Christ. Why? For the Holy Spirit will begin, will begin to bear some fruits inside of you. There are some fruits that will begin to show, which are called the fruits of the Holy Spirit. There are some fruits that will begin to show. Now we do not judge you by the uniform you wear. We do not look at you and say, because you are wearing a uniform, you are a Christian. We do not look at you and say, because every Sunday you drive to a building, you are a Christian. But we look at you and we say, because you have got the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Now the issue of the fruits of the Spirit is not only an issue of prophets and pastors, but it's also an issue of everybody who has received Christ. Do you have the fruits of the Spirit? Wherever you are watching from tonight, do you have the fruits of the Spirit? Do you have the fruits of the Holy Spirit wherever you are? I'm giving you this assignment as I do not want to dwell much on that, but I'm going to give you this assignment tonight. As you are watching, keep on sharing the broadcast, keep on sharing the broadcast. The assignment that I'm giving to you tonight is for you to go and study, study the fruits of the Holy Spirit and see if you've got any one of those fruits in your life. If you do not find any of those fruits in your life, then you must definitely know that you are in church and you are lost. You are in church and you are lost.
Let me get back to my message and let me get back to the scriptures. We spoke about uh, 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 Penina. Penina was in church, but Penina was lost. What do I mean by this? When I'm saying you are lost, I'm not looking at the fact that you are in a... Uh, 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 I'm not going to the register to check your attendance of a service. But when I'm saying you are lost, I'm checking, are you found in a place where you are supposed to be found? Or you are found in a place where the Holy Spirit is not functional? Because if you are in Christ, there are things that are expected to come out of your mouth. If you are born again, there are things that are expected to come out of your mouth. That is why the other day we're talking with Pastor Blessed and he said something very powerful. He said the diet of a pregnant woman is determined by whatever that is inside of her. So if she's carrying a baby boy or if she's carrying a baby girl or if she's carrying twins, it is the twins, the baby boy or the baby girl who will determine whatever that will come out of the mouth of the woman. And it is also the child who determines what comes into the mouth of the woman. So I want you to know this. If the Holy Spirit is in your life and if the Holy Spirit is sitting on you, there is definitely no way you can have hatred towards a brother. There is no way you can have hatred towards a sister. There is definitely no way you can have hatred towards a fellow believer. There is so much hatred in the buildings and there is so much hatred in the church. Why? Because we have got a lot of people who are in church but they are lost. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. We've got a lot of people who are in church but they are lost. And being in church does not necessarily mean that you are found. You can be in church and still be lost. You can be in church and still not yet uh, uh, born again. Let me ask you a question tonight. Are you born again or you are born against? Are you born again? Are you born of the spirit or you are born of the flesh? Are you born of the seed of the spirit or you are born of the seed of the flesh? Which one is it between those two? Oh my God. I pray for somebody who's watching tonight that may you be found in the right place and may you be aligned with the purpose of God and may you be found in Christ, not just in church, in the mighty name of Jesus. So we have Penina. Penina goes to church, but in as much as she goes to church, even in church, she is still ridiculing Hannah for being barren. These are the people we have in church. If you are this kind of person, then you must know that you are in church, but you are lost. You cannot be going to church so that you can be ridiculing a sister, so that you can be ridiculing a brother. You cannot be going to church so that you can be a, 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 a thorn in the flesh of a fellow brother and a fellow sister. The fact that Hannah is barren is not your problem. The fact that Hannah is barren is not, it has got nothing to do with you. For the barrenness of Hannah is in the will of God. At the right time, Hannah will give birth. And the time that Hannah gives birth, she's going to give birth even to a better, oh my God, to a better generation than the one of those who went ahead. So be careful of trying to rush the process of God. Wait as much as possible and wait for God to be the one to push you and stop pushing God into your own plans. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. We have got a second character by the name of Judas. No matter how much uh, Jesus can be good, in as much as Jesus can be very much of a good man of God, in as much as Jesus can be very much of a good pastor, there will always be a Judas. A Judas who is in church but lost. What do I mean by this? I'm looking at the motives. What is your motive of being in church? 
if you go to church because you are looking for women, you are in church but you are lost. If you go to church because you are a leader, you are in church but you are lost. If you go to church because they gave you a caller, you are in church but you are lost. If you go to church because uh, uh, just for the sake of going to church, because your wife goes to church and your uncle goes to church and they drag you with to church, then you must know you are in church but you are lost. What is the motive behind going to church? Why are you found in a place of worship? Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Why are you found in a place of worship? Are you going to church because you are looking for the... Uh, 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 you are looking for God or you are going to church because you are looking for different things? What is the motive behind? Let us look at the motive of Judas. The Bible says at one time, a woman comes with an expensive oil. And as she comes with an expensive alabaster oil, presenting it before Jesus... As she was presenting the oil before Jesus, Judas Cariot looks at the oil and he looks at Jesus. He says, but master, can you see that the, the oil that uh, the woman has brought to your presence is an oil that we can sell and give money to the poor? The motive of Judas was not to give money to the poor, but the motive of Judas was to be, oh my God, to take the money and use it for personal use. I want you to know this wherever you are that as Judas was there the motive of Judas was not to serve God the motive of Judas was not to be found in Christ but the motive of Judas was just to be found in a building there are people who rejoice whenever they are given the front line seat in church oh my God thank you Holy Spirit of God so whenever you are going to the house of the Lord is your motive to sit on the front seat or your motive to sit at the front seat with Jesus Christ what is your motive is your motive just to go and uh, find some things to gossip about or your motive is to be found in church today I want to talk to a brother and I want to talk to a sister tonight and I want to challenge you in such a way that I want to make you realize that all these years of you being found in a building were a waste of time because your motive was not in alignment with the will of God your motive was not in alignment with the motive of Christ you were not going to church for the purposes of oh my god there are people who make it a point that whenever I was saying it the other day that whenever prophet J is not in church then you don't see them in church so it simply tells us that you are in the building and you are in church for prophet J what is going to happen that the, with the day you hear that prophet J has died that means we'll never find you in church so tonight I want to challenge somebody wherever you are step out of the building and be found in Christ step out of the building step out of the church and be found in Christ Jesus how are you found in Christ Jesus that is why you see that right now as I'm talking to you you are tuning in from home and you are just watching maybe on your screen you are watching on your phone you are watching on your laptop or on your computer and you are hearing the word of God this must tell you that it's not about the buildings but it's about a relationship with Christ over the past months you've been building a personal relationship with God without being found in any building so I want you to know this it's not about the church it's not about the building but it's all about your personal relationship with God Judas had the best pastor under the sun but in as much as he had the best pastor under the sun he still betrayed him. In as much as he had the best men of God under the sun, he still found a fault in the best men of God that he had under the sun. Judas is in church, but Judas is lost because the motive of Judas is not in alignment with where Jesus is going. But at the same time, a Judas is needed so that the fulfillment of the scriptures can take place. For there is no way that the scriptures can be fulfilled without a Judas. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody right here. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. There is no way that the scriptures can be fulfilled without a Judas. A Judas is needed. In as much as a Judas is lost, but a Judas is needed. So that the scriptures can be fulfilled. But tonight, we are not talking about 
the need that we have of Judas. But we are focusing on how lost Judas is. Oh my God. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. That is why you see that when uh, the time that Jesus was talking about giving the keys, the keys to unlock the heavens and to lock the heavens, he did not look for the best disciple. He did not look for the one who had the best position, but he looked for the least of the disciples and he said, Peter, come here. The same disciple who was tormented by a spirit at some point, who was tormented by Satan, was the same disciple that Jesus picked and decided, upon you I shall build my church. And no gates of hell shall prevail against this church. Upon you I shall build the church. And no gates of hell will prevail. He looks at Peter again and he said, here are the keys. The keys to bind. And whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Why? It was not about the position that Peter had in Christ. But it was about the heart that Peter had for the things of God. God does not look at how much you have given to the church. Let me just help somebody tonight. God will never look at how much a, a, a time you have invested in the church. That is why so many times, uh, so many people have lied to you and said, because of your offering and because uh, uh, of the money that you are giving to the church, you will have a better place in heaven. Listen, the license to heaven is not money. No matter how much money you can give to the house of God, no matter how much money you can give to church, your money will never take you to heaven. It's all about your heart. It's all about your willingness and your openness to the things of God. If your heart is not open for God, then your money will definitely rot with you in hell. If your heart is not in alignment with the will of God, no matter how much you can give, no matter how much you can sponsor the ministry, no matter how much you can partner with the ministry, it is all about your heart. That is why in our churches and in our buildings, we are so much afraid of rebuking those who give us money. Whenever they are wrong and whenever they are doing wrong, we cannot rebuke them. We cannot call a spade a spade, but we decide to call a spade a farming tool. Why? Because we are afraid that immediately when we call them to order, they will leave with their money. Immediately when we call them into order, they will leave and they will go and find another place. But I telling you something wherever you are gone are the days and gone are those days when we used to compromise the gospel for the sake of money gone are the days when we used to compromise the gospel for the sake of partners gone are the days when we used to compromise the gospel for the sake of those who are giving money to the ministry if you are giving money to the ministry and you are committing adultery we will call it adultery we will not call it a mistake if you are giving money to the ministry and you are lying and you are greedy and you are uh, doing things that are not in alignment with the will of God we will call you to order we will not definite oh my God Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. We will not beat about the bushes, but we will call a spade a spade. Why? So many souls are being sent to hell because they are partnering with the ministry. So many souls are in church, but they are not in Christ because they are partnering with the church. So many souls are not in church, are not in Christ, but they are in church. They are not in Christ, but they are in the buildings because of the money that they are giving to the house of the Lord. We give them a better place. We give them better positions. We give them better seats than everybody else. And they end up doing wrong things and they end up messing things up. They end up messing those without money. But I'm here to tell you something wherever you are. The gospel is not about money. In as much as we need money for the gospel of Jesus Christ to move forward. We'd rather have those who give little money for the gospel to go forward and they are in right standing with God and we are leading their souls to heaven than have those who are giving millions yet the millions are dirty and we cannot bring them to order for their dirty millions. Why? Because you are afraid that they will leave the house of the Lord and they will go somewhere else. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Father. It's all about your relationship with Jesus Christ.
It's all about your relationship with the maker. It's all about your relationship with God. You can be in church for 25 years and you are still lost. What do I mean by this? The fact that you are in church and you are still gossiping, you are lost. The fact that you are in church and you still hate a sister, you are lost. The fact that you are in church and you still find time to be ridiculing the next brother, you are lost. You are, you are in church, but you are not in Christ. For when you are in Christ, you are now a new creation. Everything about your, your about but your former man is gone. The former man, the former carnal man is gone. The former carnality is, is all disappeared. The former carnal, oh my God, the carnal being is gone. And there is a new creation. How can you tell me that you are a leader? You are in church, you are found in church, but you still have time. You still have time to be doing things that are not in alignment with the, with the word of God. Things that are not in alignment with the scriptures. Things that are not in alignment with what God says and with what God requires from you. Tonight, I'm here to challenge you. You need to check your balance wherever you are. I'm here to challenge somebody to check your balance. Check your standing with God. Check the way you are with Christ. Are you in right standing with God? Check your relationship with God. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Father. I want to go back to the first one that I mentioned, which is the third uh, uh, character that I want to deal with tonight, which is the character of Hophni and Phineas. This one is a very critical character because the Bible says, and now the sons of Eli were also sons of Belial. If you go and you try to make a research of who Belial is, you get to understand that Belial is the devil. So the sons of Eli were also the sons of the devil. That is where we say you are lost, but you are in church. You are a son of Eli, but you are also a son of the devil. Which is where I come in and I say it doesn't matter who your papa is. If you're not in alignment with the will of God, you are definitely a son of Belial. You are not a son of Christ. You might be a son of Eli. Uh, maybe if we are brave, if, 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 if we are to take the word and bring it into time, there are so many people going around and, and, and boasting about, uh, I am a son of so and so, I am a son of so and so, the grace of my father is in me. All those things, they do not work. I have seen it with my own eyes. Those things don't work. As long as you're not in right standing with God, there is no way the grace of your pastor, the grace of your uncle, the grace of your grandfather, the grace of your prophet, the grace of your apostle can work for you. You do not know the secret behind the grace that the man is carrying. And you go around saying, I carry the grace of my father, I carry, yet you are living in sin, yet you are living a life of filth, yet you are living a life that is not in alignment with the will of God. And now the sons of Eli were also the sons of Belial. If you go down with the scriptures, you get to understand the Bible says they knew not the Lord. In as much as they were serving in the house of God. For you understand that uh, 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 Hophni and Phineas are the sons uh, uh, that uh, the scripture is talking about. Hophni and Phineas are the sons that the Bible is talking about. Hophni and Phineas were working in the temple. They were working in the house of the Lord. They were sons of Eli and they were working and serving on the altar. The Bible says they were thieves, but they were serving on the altar. The Bible says they were adulterers, but they were serving on the altar. They were stealing money, but they were still serving on the altar. When people used to bring offerings to the house of the Lord, Hophni and Phineas used to take the offerings and personalize them for themselves, yet they were still serving on the altar. That is why I always say it is not about serving, but it's about the heart. If your heart is not in alignment with what God requires from you, you are in church, but you are lost. Let me talk to somebody who's watching right here tonight. I'm not here to, uh, to try and impress somebody with the word. I'm not here to try and find favor. I'm not here to try and gain favor from you. If you are still watching this broadcast tonight, then God bless you. But if, you're, if you will definitely continue watching the broadcast, then we are definitely on the same assignment and on the same mission together. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. And the sons of Eli were also the sons of Belial. The sons of Eli were also the sons of the devil. So it is very much possible that in our time, we have got sons of Eli, sons of J. Israel, but they're also sons of the devil. Sons of prophet Israel, but they're also sons of the devil. Sons of prophet J, but they're also sons of the devil.
It doesn't matter whose son you are. That is why I told you the other day, it's not about you being a son of J. Israel. It's not about you being a son. As long as you are not a son of God, then you are in church. You are not in Christ. You can be a son of J. Israel and still not be a son of God. The priority must not be, uh, I want to be a son of J. Israel. The priority must be, I want to be a son of God. For if you are a son of God, then you will definitely be in right standing with God. You will serve God with the right motives. You will serve God with the correct heart. You will serve God with a clean spirit. You will serve God with a clean heart. You will serve God with a clean mindset. I feel like I'm talking to somebody right now. So be a son of God. I prefer being a son of God other than being a son of man. And yet I am not a son of God. I prefer being a son of God and move in alignment with the things of God and move in alignment with the word of God and move in alignment with the purpose of God that he has for my life. Other than being a son of man, and go around claiming that I'm a son of so and so I'm a son of so and so and yet I do not know the Lord the Bible says they were sons uh, sons of Eli were sons of Belial they knew not the Lord we are in a generation where we have got millions of sons of the prophets but they do not know the Lord that is why the gospel is going the way it is going nobody has got time to study their word but everybody has time to listen to their to their oh my God Everybody has time to listen to their father, but nobody has time to listen to God because we have got sons of Eli who are also sons of Belial. Nobody has time to study the word by themselves because the church is filled with sons of Eli who are also sons of Belial, but they do not know the Lord. So all they know is the doctrine of Eli. All they know is the message of Eli. All they know is dressing like Eli. All they know is talking like Eli. But they know not the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Let me ask you a question tonight. Are you a son of Eli? And also a son of Belial? And you do not know the Lord or you are a son of God and you know the Lord thank you Holy Spirit of God thank you Father thank you Jesus in our time I've made it a point that I don't care at what cost at what cost liberation for you will come I have devoted myself and given my life to say as long as I live in my generation every error shall be corrected in my time as long as I live whatever nonsense that is happening in the body of Christ whatever things that are not of the Lord that are going on in the body of Christ I will leave to make it a point that the truth will be revealed and God's people will be liberated I want you to look out in the next few weeks. I want you to look out for the book that is coming up. I'm telling you that book is going to be there are things that I've never preached about. Secrets behind the prosperity gospel. Secrets behind the prophetic that I've never preached about, that I've never spoken about. I want you to watch out for this book. In that book, I'll be exposing each and every detail. Each and every detail that is in relation with the prosperity gospel, the false prophetic movement, the false prophetic wave, I'll be exposing each and every detail in that book. And I want you to look out for that book as it is coming in the next few weeks. I'm not going to say much about it for now, but I'm just saying look out for that book. So are you a son of Eli or you are a son of God? The Bible says all they did, they used to take women and sleep with women on the altar because they did not have respect for God. This is the kind of generation that we have in our time. A generation that respects Eli, but a generation that has got no respect for God. I'd rather disrespect an Eli only to respect God. I'd rather disrespect whoever is trying to stand above me 
and respect the one who is the ultimate power, the Lord God himself. I don't care wherever you are watching from. I don't care whatever you've been through, but I bring a message to you tonight. And I say, be found at the right place. Be found in right standing with God. Are you an ally follower or you are a God follower? They were sons of Eli, but they were also sons of Belial. Sons of Eli, but they were also sons of the devil. Which one are you between those two? Make up your mind tonight. Make up your mind tonight. I don't know where you are watching me from, but make up your mind tonight and know where you stand. That is why the other day I told you that I'd rather have God as my spiritual father. That is the most important thing. Because if God is with you, then there is definitely nobody or nothing that can touch you. I'm reaching out tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you're watching me from, which one are you? Are you a son of Eli or you are a son of God? Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. You can be in church and still be lost. You can be in the house of the Lord and still be lost. And these sons I'm talking about here are not sons from afar. They were sons from very close. That is why at the end of the day, when the time came for the altar to be served, God realized that Hophni and Phineas are not worthy to be standing on the altar. I declared last year and I'll say it again today. In this year 2020, as you are going to 2021 and 2022, there are people who do not deserve to be serving God's people. There are people who do not deserve to be standing on the altar and to be speaking from the altar. The Lord God that we serve is going to expose every everything and the truth will come to the open so that God's people can be liberated and souls can be won to the kingdom of God. When time came for the altar, for the altar to be served, God disqualified Hophni and Phineas the same way he disqualified Zachariah. He disqualified the two and he said in as much as you are serving, in as much as you are working in the temple, you have been disqualified. So you realize that even in our time, there are people who have been disqualified by God. They are no longer worthy to be serving from the altar. But because God is a merciful God and God is not a God who will take you out on the spot. But they are still going on and on. That is why there is no other message apart from the message of prosperity. There is no other message apart from the message of loyalty. There is no other message apart from the message of manipulation and deception. But I'm telling you 2020, 2021, 2022, there is a change that is coming to the body of Christ. There is a change and a shift that is coming to the body of Christ. There is a fire, there is a broom that is going to sweep starting from the altar in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It is going to sweep every falsehood, it is going to sweep every deception, every manipulation shall be swept off the altar in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. When the time came, Hophni and Phineas were disqualified. There are some disqualified people who are still serving God today. There are some disqualified servants who are still serving God today. Yet they have been disqualified by God. That is why no life is changing. No conviction is coming. The same things you were doing yesterday are the same things you were doing today. You have become more of a professional sinner. You are in church but you are not in Christ. Receive Jesus tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Receive Jesus tonight. In Jesus mighty name. We are reaching out to at least 12 million souls. And I pray that you and I, you and I will achieve this goal. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you Holy Spirit of God. I pray for everyone who is watching. May God teach us his ways. May God teach us his ways. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you and we give you praise in the name of Jesus. As I'm about to wrap up my message for tonight, as I do not want to take too much time and I want to be too long, this is what I want to leave with you tonight. Are you in Christ or you are just in church? Are you a follower of Eli or you are a follower of God? 
Are you a follower of Eli or you're a follower of Christ? Which one between those two are you following? Make up your mind tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you wherever you are in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord God touch you and change your story. May the Lord God touch you and change your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Just share the broadcast one last time. Share the broadcast for the last time. Share the broadcast for the last time in the mighty name of Jesus. Share the broadcast for the last time. Share the broadcast for the last time. Share the broadcast for the last time. I'm seeing a, a, a Joel who's connecting all the way from Guyana. I'm seeing you. God bless you. I pray for you in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord touches you tonight and changes your story in Jesus' mighty name. May the Lord do a new thing in your life in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I see a lot of people who are saying, men of God, we want to partner with your ministry. We want to partner with you. We want to partner with you. Just quickly go on the link uh, on the comment section. There is a PayPal link that we have pinned on the comment section click on our paypal link so that you can be a partner of the ministry soon after you as soon as you are done take the phone number that you see on the screen get in touch with me soon after the service so that i may know wherever you are joining in from and whatever you have done for the lord and i can pray for you in jesus mighty name and those who are asking for banking details right there on the comment section uh may you please pin the banking details uh, uh, uh on the comment section as well in the name of jesus christ so that uh, uh we may reach out to as many people as possible with this gospel of our lord jesus christ in jesus name i see luandi so who's watching uh, from Qatar may the Lord bless you in Jesus name may the Lord touch you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ as I'm concluding the message tonight as I'm concluding the message tonight I want you to know this this is the word that I'm leaving with you are you a follower of Eli or you are a follower of God because the followers of Eli they are also followers of Belial they are also followers of the devil and they do not know the Lord. The sons of Eli are also followers of the devil. They are also sons of the devil. They are also sons of Belial and they do not know the Lord. Which one are you between those two? Make up your mind tonight and follow Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you are, I want you to do something very, 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 very wonderful. I want you to quickly go to the comment section. I see somebody says, I don't need no papa in my life. I need Christ. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Go to the comment section and begin to declare in the comment section that I am a follower of Christ. I am a son of God. I'm not a son of Eli and I'm not a son of Belial. Quickly go to the comment section and begin and begin to drop that word right now in the comment section. Begin to drop that word in the comment section. Begin to declare in the comment section that I'm a son of God. I'm not a son of Eli, but I'm a son of God. I'm not a son of Eli, but I am a son of God. I am a son of God. I'm not a son of Eli. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm not a son of God, but I am a son of Eli. Just begin to declare wherever you are that you are a son of God, not a son of Eli. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. We give you praise and we give you honor. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Begin to pray wherever you are. As you are dropping your comment in the comment section, begin to declare that I'm a son of God. I'm not a son of Eli. I'm a son of God. I'm not a son of Eli. I'm a, I'm a follower of Christ. I'm not a follower of Eli. Begin to, begin to declare wherever you are. Begin to declare wherever you are. In the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to declare with your mouth. Begin to declare with your mouth in Jesus' mighty name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Begin to declare with your mouth that I'm a follower of Jesus. I'm a follower of Jesus. I am a follower of Jesus Christ. Begin to declare wherever you are. In the name of Jesus. 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 Begin to declare. Begin to declare. I'm a follower of Christ. 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 
I'm a follower of Christ in the name of Jesus. I am a follower of Christ. I am a follower of Christ. I'm not a follower of men. I'm not a follower of Eli, but I follow Christ. I follow Christ. I follow Christ. I follow Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I follow Christ. I follow Christ. I follow Christ. I follow Christ. Begin to declare wherever you are. Begin to declare. Begin to declare. Begin to declare. In the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to declare. Begin to declare. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray for you. Wherever you are joining in from tonight, I pray. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you wherever you are. In Jesus' mighty name. May you be found in alignment with the will of God. Be found in alignment with the will of God. Be found in alignment with the will of God. Be found in alignment with the will of God. Be found in alignment with the will of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to declare in the comment section. I'm a son of God. Begin to declare. Declare in the comment section. 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 I'm a son of God. I'm not a son of Eli. I'm not a follower of Eli. But I'm a follower of Christ. Begin to declare in the comment section. In in the mighty name of Jesus. There is something that we are going to do together in the next two minutes. So don't go away. Stay on your screen. Keep on sharing the broadcast. We are going to do something together in the next two minutes. I want you to keep on declaring in the comment area. I want you to keep on declaring in the comment area. Keep on declaring. Keep on declaring. Keep on declaring. There is something that we are about to do together in the comment area. There is something we are about to do together. So wherever you are, Keep on, keep on, keep on commenting. I see your comments are coming through. I see your comments are coming through. I see your comments are coming through. So wherever you are, wherever you are, wherever you are joining in from, I want you to know, I want you to know, we are about to do something together. This is something that I want us to do together in the comment section. For this is the platform that we are going to use. This is the platform that we are going to use together, the comment section. We are going to utilize the comment section in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So wherever you are, keep on, keep on, keep on typing, keep on typing, keep on typing, keep on declaring, I'm a son of God. I'm not a son of any papa. I'm not a son of any papa. I'm not a son of any prophet. I'm not a son of any pastor. But I'm a son of God. I'm not a follower of any prophet. I'm not a follower of any pastor. But I'm a follower of Christ. I follow Christ. I follow God. I follow Christ. I follow Christ. Be begin to declare. Begin to declare. Begin to declare. Begin to declare. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As you are declaring, I want you to keep on uh, uh, sharing the broadcast. As you are declaring, keep on sharing the broadcast. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Father, we thank you. For it is done in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise and we give you honor in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to say after me, Lord Jesus, thank you for touching my life. Thank you for changing my life through this platform in the mighty name of Jesus. I believe after tonight, my life will never be the same again in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you and we give you praise. Amen and amen. It is done and it is sealed. We have a link that we have pinned on the comment section. Our banking details are there and the PayPal link is also there. Kindly go, click on the PayPal link, click on the banking details if you'd like to be a partner of the Back to Christ movement, if you want to partner with me and if you, you want to partner with the ministry and if you love the work that God is doing, just quickly go to the, uh, 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 right now we have pinned it on the comment section. The PayPal link is pinned. The banking details are, are also linked there. Beware of scammers. Beware of scammers. Beware of scammers. One of the major reasons why I always, I always emphasize on the banking details that we have put on the link, uh, on, 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 on right there that we have pinned, and the PayPal link that we have pinned, is for you to know the correct details and the correct PayPal link. Beware of scammers. A lot of people have been sending monies uh, to different scammers all over the world. Some in Nigeria and some in different places. So please beware and beware in Jesus mighty name if you want to give if you want to give your offering your free will offering you want to offer whatever you want to offer from your heart from the depth of your heart you say you love because you love God because you love the work of God and you love the ministry you might as well just uh, utilize the um the details that we have given on this platform in Jesus mighty name with that being said I love you all with the love of God as soon as you have given whatever that you have given Check the phone number that is there on the screen and get in touch with me. Let me know what you have done so that I may pray for you in Jesus' mighty name. I love you so much with the love of God. 
and I'll meet you again. Friday, we are back again for yet another powerful moment in the presence of God, which is our Friday midweek service in Jesus' name. Sunday, we are back again for our Sunday service. So I want you to know that every Wednesday we are live, every Friday we are live, and every Sunday we are live. But if God speaks to me, tomorrow we might come back again and be live and so on and so forth. And uh, it gives me so much pleasure to serve you and it gives me so much pleasure to serve all of you wherever you are in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This is the church that we now have and I am your pastor. I am your man of God. I am your leader. I am your teacher. I am your mentor and I want you to know that I love you so much with the love of God. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord touch you in Jesus' mighty name. My name is Jay Israel. You may call me J-I-S. Have a blessed night and shalom.